Hey guys, it's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do a really quick video uh, tonight. We did not expect to do this video, but I think this is you know worth talking about. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to kind of run with it here tonight. Uh, give a, a shout out to Sean McMichael, who sent us this link, the Den of Geek uh, claims that the Shira cast pays tribute to Larry Dottilio. Now, we talked before in a video, uh, well, let's see, Larry passed away, I believe it was March 16th. Yeah. I think it was the middle of March he passed away. He, of course, was co-creator of uh, the original Shira. He one was, of Shira's two dads. One of Shira's uh, two dads, along with JMS. Uh, and he was a pretty, pretty big impact on, he had a pretty big impact on the uh, U.S. animation industry, uh, worked on several shows. Uh, he passed away in the middle of March. Um, not long after, actually the weekend he passed away, there there was a convention that uh, had a She-Ra panel with Noel Stevenson. And uh, a week or two later, WonderCon, again, mm -hmm. panel, Noel Stevenson, other members of the show. Nobody mentioned Larry Dottilio. Not on Twitter either. The, not no. DreamWorks. Not, you know, they no. wasn't mentioned. Uh, the only mention of Larry Dottilio that we could find uh, that was related to anything you know, even uh, tangentially related to, to DreamWorks was on sci-fi.com, which they couldn't even bother to retweet. Right. So as of this recording, uh, neither DreamWorks Shira's official Twitter or Facebook that I'm aware of, or Noel Stevenson on Twitter, uh, have even acknowledged that Larry Dottilio has passed. However, Den of Geek uh, puts this article up, Shira cast pays tribute to Larry Dottilio. It's a very misleading, a very misleading headline because they have not. Uh, what they have done is they've cobbled together quotes from people working on the current show to to uh, make it look like they're supporting Larry and make it look like you know they're, they're fans of the '80s show. But this isn't the case. It's, but I don't know. It's not. I it's just. It's just a mess. It's. Anyway, basically, it's just them putting this crap together. It's not even what's going on. They're they're apologists. They're so apologists. They go they're through to, yeah. the first paragraph. They basically talk about all the stuff Larry Toyo did: Beast Wars, Bubble and Five, Real Ghostbusters, He Man, Shira. Um, you know, talk about the power and long lasting impact of that work. I was proven when last year the series was re rebooted into that garbage. She ran the Princesses of Power on Netflix while well, the series changed some elements. Changed a lot of elements. Yeah. Until you work, it was still very much a love letter to his work. No! No, it wasn't! With many direct references throughout. You basically took the names and you, and, and, you know, changed it. Yeah. I mean, it's not a love letter throughout. There are not a lot of, like, you know, no. And they're talking about Noel Stevenson, nothing but respect for his work, calling the original series mind-blowing. They're taking cherry-picking quotes. I'm not saying she, she, she honestly doesn't usually say anything bad. She doesn't. The other media uh, people do. Right. And Marcus Scribner hasn't been. But no, what they're doing, like you said, they're cherry picking quotes and they're cobbling it together into uh, basically an apologist article to make it look like they've actually acknowledged Larry Dottilio's death when they have not. These quotes are taken out of context. Right. Like these are probably interview quotes from the cons. Right. Like the original Shira was Lauren Ash is Scorpio's favorite cartoon growing up because seeing a woman being powerful in that way resonated with me from the beginning. Uh, if the girl plays Frost, I concurs, saying she was a movement in its time. In its time! There hadn't been many powerful female characters, so it was a big move forward. A movement in its time. There was also a lot of shows with female characters. Just saying. And um, then they have... Uh, you went down too far. Okay. Uh, the original character is important. And it was important to Noelle to keep the integral characteristics of a lot of her characters. No, she didn't, says Bo. Says the guy making fun of Bo all the time. No, they didn't. Um, Amy Carrera Adora hopes new series is not only continuing the work of Dottilio and the original She-Ra did. We get to bring this fantasy to a whole new generation of young girls. That's really exciting. She never mentioned him. That's the quote. It was from something else. You know, she hopes it continues work on Dottilio. No, they never even addressed him. Well, now here, okay, this is interesting. Stevenson says they want to pay our respects to, in brackets, Dottilio. We want to do something to memorialize him. Where, when? Where, when? When was this said? Because we've been checking. Uh, we're like, the least they can do, even though we don't like the show, the least they can do is acknowledge the people who they basically owe their jobs to. Okay, well, that's good if she said it. But here's yeah, the thing. It's where? a month late. It's like a month, almost a, a month, month late. late. Yeah. You know, and now this is funny. 
because they're like, while it may take some time for that to possibly show up in the show, it's fitting that the second season of the new she will include a segment that features the characters dressing in their 80 out 80s outfits and shot in the style of the original series. Kinda, they kind of make fun of it. Even more poignant is that it's done during a role-playing game because he developed several no. RPG games and was a huge fan of board games in general. It's not poignant. Noel Stevenson has said repeatedly she just recently decided to play Dungeons and Dragons is all into it and based based uh, Glimmer's teleportation off of her own character from her, her Dungeons and Dragons. That's what it's about. Has nothing to do with Larry Natilio. Everything no. to do with Noel Stevenson, as does almost everything, including almost every article out there about She-Ra. Well, and same with the 80s outfits. That's something that they probably would have storyboarded like a year ago long before Larry Dottilio passed, and they probably animated it six months ago. Right. You know, I mean, the production... Oh, it's pipeline. that guy again! Seamus Kelly. Oh, we've dealt with him before. He's been on, he's been doing these articles before. Basically, what's going on is, what are people mad about? Oh, they're mad about that. Well, we're going to craft an article. We need to get, we, we're supposed to get she her pumped up because the new one's coming out the 26th, which is the same day as Endgame. Which one do you think people are going to pick? <laughs> anyway, yeah, right. I'm just saying, you know, his job was, what, what's what's trending? What are people complaining about? How can I tie that into an article and make it, like, make it make them, them, look, them look good? But it's not them saying it. It's this guy saying it. Yeah, well, now, they might have reached out. In all fairness, they might have reached out to Noel Stevenson. I get to see oh, that. Oh, yeah, on your corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are going to pay respect yeah, to him. That, I swear. That's probably what it was. It was probably because she has said nothing on social media it, it, that I'm aware of. Um, and I'd love to be wrong about that. But but they probably reached out to her and said, Hey, uh, Noel, um, Larry Dottilio died. Uh, do you have anything to say about that? And she's probably like, Who? Well, no, it's like we want to do something to like, memorialize him. And I'm like, you know why didn't you say anything? You had your two cons. You could have brought it up. You could have had a memorial video at yeah, one of the conventions. Yeah, you yeah. could have been like, hey, guys, I know you're so excited about seeing the 80s characters. Let's take a moment to remember Larry. Didn't do it. No. You brought, and then what are they going to use this as? We need to do a third season Netflix just so we can prove to everybody that we respect Larry Dottilio. So let's let's leverage Larry for another season. Oh, God. I hope that they're not that trash. But the fact that it took them this long that they couldn't even bother. DreamWorks' official Twitter account couldn't even bother to retweet the sci-fi article about Larry yeah. Dottilio dying. They couldn't even be bothered to retweet anything. And here we are going on almost a month after his passing, this was very much an afterthought. I think you're right. I think I think they basically cornered Noel Stevenson because they were writing this article, and she's like, oh, I mean, she might have said it, but she might have said it. But there's been a lot of backlash in the last month about this. So if she did say it, which she probably did, it's because there's been a lot of backlash in the last month about it. You had opportunities at two conventions to to say something like, you know, oh, I want to take a moment to remember Larry. You had that How big. How hard is that? You had that How big thing with that? all the voice actors, right? And you had this big an you had this big animated sequence on a big. Screen you had all this stuff planned it would take a while to plan it how hard was it to put a 30 second in let's remember larry atilio it wouldn't have taken long and that was way after the fact of him passing so you had more than enough notice hell so most of the people working on the show probably don't even know who he is so anyway but these quotes are not about larry these quotes no. are about people like what they're going to say about the show and they're twisting it to be about him so whatever um do i think this is the the the, the, the cast doing this no i think this is den of geek doing this yeah, um, yeah. Thinking they're helping, but they're, they just look stupid. Yeah, so, they're, they're playing a pot. It actually looks worse that they have to call attention to it a month after the fact, and everybody's like, oh, oh, Larry, uh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do something for this Larry. This article would have been, been, you know, relevant like a week after he passed, not almost a month later. Now, like yeah. you said, this makes him look worse yeah. for it. So I think you shouldn't have put this up um, this close to the new season. It really doesn't make sense now other than making them look bad. So yeah, well, anyway. They were, yeah, they already look bad. I mean, we see see how they treat the other actors on the show and the yeah. other people involved with the show. So Well, yeah, you know, the voice of Marcus Scribner saying about how much Noel <sighs> Stevenson respects the old show as he disrespects the old show all the time. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. Anyway, we'll wrap this one up. This was an unexpected video. Um, and uh, yeah, it's completely, again, this is just that disingenuine uh, marketing machine. Mm. you know behind this show and it's 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 pretty gross honestly i think it's pretty gross all right well so. let's wrap this up all right so please subscribe to clownfish tv for more pop culture news views rants gaming videos art videos and more this has been neon and geeky bye goodbye hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.